Hey guys, so this was what you might call another matrix glitch that I experienced. Um, others would say it's a, a really good example of mind over matter. And what happened, uh, this would have been back um, early 2000s. And uh, I was, I was um, hanging out with my friend. Uh, I drove a, a sports car at the time, a Firebird. And it would eventually, uh, the exterior would eventually get dirty and I'd go to the car wash and, and wash my car. So at that time period, um, something I was, I was uh, working with was how to influence electronics or how to observe electronics being influenced from other, other people or non-physical beings. So electronics. Electronics in this world is something that you can use as a, a tool or a bridge to see influences from other other um, um, places, other realities, um, ghosts, whatever, however you want to define those things. So yeah, and I I saw it, and I knew I knew that this could uh, happen, and I I wanted it to happen. And what I'm referring to is that when I would clean my my sports car, my sport, sports car would be happy and drive faster. Now, um, we're not talking about, oh, it can go a little bit, a couple of miles per hour faster on the highway or something irrelevant. You know, there, there's all these factors about how, how, how heavy is, are, is the load in the car and what kind of gas you're using and conditions and tire pressure, all this stuff. No, what I'm saying is acceleration off the line. You're zero to like 40, zero to 60. Um, as a younger guy with a sports car, um, or even just just a, a somebody with a, a regular car, you get used to its performance. You get very very familiar with your car's performance after you drive it for a while. So I was well aware of what it felt like to accelerate as fast as I could off the line. Now, I'm not I'm not um, as immature now, and I'm not going to do that because a cop's going to see you, and you're going to get a ticket for uh, um, um, starting without uh, using caution or something. But, but yeah, so taking off uh, off a red light, and, you know, being young and, and and whatever. But yeah, so I washed it, told my buddy, I'm like, I haven't washed my car in like months. It's been a long time, so my car is gonna be like ridiculously extra happy. Now, did I am I talking about my car having emotional feelings and communicating with me? Absolutely not. What I'm talking about is physical reality being manipulated by your own thoughts and feelings, i.e., quantum jumping, quantum jumping. Okay, now quantum jumping is basically moving through time because time doesn't really exist, right? Quantum jumping is just another way of saying moving through time. And we'll get into that in great detail in the future. So, so I told my buddy, it had been months, my car's gonna be extra happy, and yeah. The first time I took off, oh my, it, it, was, it, was, it was very fast. It had more balls, like more acceleration, more torque. Um, and I actually, I remember specifically that after I had taken off for the first time from a, when the light turned green, that something like shook loose from under the hood. Um, it wasn't anything that damaged the car. It was like a bracket that like got loose, but yeah, the car like took off so freaking fast that something like became a, a jar under the hood. So just a matrix glitch. Um, uh, it's, it's another, another, another account of something that's out of the ordinary, but yet when you put your mind to it. It's quite ordinary, and, and you can do it too. I'll see you guys.